What is the news around Justin Verlander? He did decline his player option. Let's talk more about it. Cue the intro. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host is always Harley Dugan. It's been one of the first videos in quite some time. Yes, I took a little two-week hiatus because I am hungover from the Astros winning the World Series. And I probably still am. And Justin Verlander has opted out of his contract. And look, playing the violin right now because Justin Verlander... Uh, I, I'm in love with him. I love Justin Verlander. Regardless of everything that's happened, even with a horrible game one, I got to take it all into effect. With Justin Verlander, you have six other starting pitchers on this team, all of whom are not scrubs. The only one you can say that still needs some time is Hunter Brown. And Hunter Brown looks like the next coming of Justin Verlander, tailored his whole game around JV. Houston Astros pitching staff, Framber Valdez is that guy. He's next up. We saw what he did in the World Series, owning those piece of shit Phillies. Lance McCullers Jr., look, he was tipping the pitches to the Phillies. If he's not tipping, he's whooping that ass too. I don't care what you say. Third one, who you got now? Christian Javier, who potentially moves to number two because that mofo no-hit the Philadelphia Phillies. Let's check that off. No hit the New York Yankees in the regular season. Check that off. That guy is legit. Number four, Luis Garcia, who last we saw 18 in a game against the Mariners and absolutely owned that pathetic franchise. The cha-cha man is legit. Jose Urquidy, let's not forget, Jose Urquidy, the most wins out of any starting pitching on this Astros team in the World Series. Urquidy is that guy and has the stuff to be capable of doing it. And take a look into this. Jose Urquidy did eat up innings in a blowout game against the Phillies where you did not have to use your bullpen to the extent. Jose Urquidy is legit as well. That's five. I mentioned Hunter Brown. We all know he's going to be extremely special, if whether it's this coming year or the year after. So all of this being said, with Justin Verlander, is extremely scary. Without him, I don't miss him. The Astros have all the leverage due to the gluttony of starting pitching that they have right now. The Houston Astros don't need Justin Verlander to go back to the World Series. We saw this in 2021 against the Atlanta Braves. We almost saw it in 2020, the COVID year, when they went all the way to the ALCS and should have beat the Rays in Game 7. You did not need Justin Verlander both of those years. The Astros can prove that they don't need him again. We've always reloaded. We've lost a lot of players, and we've came back stronger. This is just going to be another example. That's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notice to turn on. Drop your comments or reactions down below in the comment section. Let me know what do you think, guys. The Houston Astros, will they re-sign Justin Verlander? My answer is yes. Because of the owner. Jim Crane is absolutely infatuated with Justin Verlander. You know he loves JV. And they have a great bond and they have a relationship between the two. Personally, I hope he doesn't. I hope he looks into the starting pitching. And I hope he takes a real good look at what you got right now in a similar situation like Carlos Correa to Jeremy Pena. This is what it is again no offense to JV, I wish him all the best of luck, but I'm not paying, I am not paying someone at the thir age of 39, 40 years old, 30 plus million dollars. As always guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans, you yeah, have a blessed day.